What's going on? Derek Lambert here, and uh, you guys check out the description. Got all sorts of goodies. I've been mentioning that before. We've got the free chat room, Discord, Facebook, Instagram, blah, 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 blah. Check it out if you want to be supportive of this thing. Um, I have with me my brother-in-law, Nelson Mountjoy. What's up, bro? What's going on, y'all? Uh, recovering at it. Yeah. Um, pills, uh, heroin, and any kind of opiates you can name of, and uh, the reason why I'm here today is because I did methadone for five years. Five years to, of methadone to quit pills. And uh, would you? Re- I mean, like, look, look. Let's be honest. Let's. You know the streets. You know you understand firsthand. And it's not just opiates he has experience with. You know he's experienced a variety of things. It's you know life is life, and and we've all gone through it. But you. If you were to do things differently, or if you if you had known what you know now, what would you personally have done? And this is just purely his experience. So, what would you personally have done differently? Maybe. All right. Um, the The reason why I, I didn't want to quit pills, didn't want to stop the high. Who wants to stop feeling like you're Superman? Uh, so, what I did was I tried methadone. Because you don't get high, but you don't you don't feel sober. You know, you you're not normal again, and nobody wants to be normal again when they felt like they were the Incredible Hulk. So I did went to methadone, and I would never ever in a million years recommend it. Um, if you can't quit pills, real quick, real quick, you wouldn't recommend it, but. You would recommend it more than being on the streets, right? Oh yeah, yeah, by okay. far. Okay. Recommend and it, and it more does than get being you the off street. the streets if you work a program and you do it. it, it yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, I you're would, saying over other types of drugs. That there's are, another way to do it. That's, okay. that's what I'm saying. There's an. Um, yeah, I was on the street doing pills, doing heroin, whatever, any kind of opiates I could do, and instead of doing. You know, sitting there, quit and going through the pain, the withdrawal, nobody likes that. You know, you know how that is. Mm -hmm. Instead of going through that, I wanted to quit because I was hitting rock bottom. Nothing went right. Everything, like a ladder, you you know, you can't be in, you can't be on pills and life go right. Right. You, you know that. I mean, you're just, everything's going to come up. So what I did was I didn't want to quit. So I went to methadone. That mm-hmm. way, didn't have to go through withdrawals. Didn't have to spend three hundred dollars a day on pills. And didn't all the other stuff. Didn't have to ruin my life any more than I had already ruined it. Lose my job, any of that. Mm-hmm. So I went to methadone, and by far it helped me a hundred percent. Right. You, you know, got your life back. You, I everything. got my life back. Got it on track. Things started actually working out. You right. know, so it's not so bad. It's not the worst, it's, right? It, it's not the worst, but at the same time, trying to get off the stuff, trying to get off the stuff, is worse than trying to get off of pills. But in a sense of, you don't have to get away once you get on methadone and you do methadone the right way. That breaks you away from the people you used to hang out with, and you know, because once you are a coming addict, the friends that you had before, you got to kill that. Yeah. You can't be friends with a heroin addict and you're a heroin addict and you're clean and you can't do it. It's not right. possible. So, you know, being on methadone, that did get me away from being around those people. And, you know, kind of gradually because I didn't have to go and chase it. That's another thing. Chasing the high. Yeah. All day. Some of us you're, were hooked on that. Isn't yeah, that weird? Like, yeah, you get, I, I was. I was hooked on chasing, chasing the it. high. That's what I was doing. Um. I mean, all day trying to find that that one, you know, that one pill to get yep. you going. And then once you did that one, trying to find the next one, <laughs> you know, to, just to keep you going. But, it's you know, being on methadone kind of got me away from that. So it's, it, it's a godsend from that. Yeah. But it's the devil trying to get off of. Y- yes. Because it's so long. We've heard the stories. It's in your bones. It takes so long to get out of. Yep. And, I mean, 
imagine withdrawing for three days a week on pills, mm-hmm. on methadone, you imagine withdrawing for a month. Or more. Or more. Yeah. And I mean, when I say withdrawing for a month, like I mean actual withdrawal the whole pain time. Pain the whole time. Not just can't sleep for a month. Pain the entire month. Yeah. You know, pills, you got pain for three days, and then, you know, a week, it sucks sleeping, and then a month, it just sucks sleeping. Right. Methadone withdrawing for a month. Uh, then your sleep. Then your sleep sucks for another month, and oh, then, God. yeah. So, I, and, I mean, this is all personally, it's probably based off of your anatomy, what your body, all how much how, you're taking. And what, all that matters, it's just his experience that he... <laughs> I could see why you're saying that. So would the flip over to Suboxone be well worth it? If my my personal experience... Uh, all right, back when we did pills around the same time. Right. Back when we did pills, you couldn't... There, I don't know if... I'm sure Suboxone existed, but we didn't know about nah, it. No, it wasn't a big thing. So back when we did pills... We couldn't go and, oh, we're withdrawing. Let's go get us a boxing strip to keep us from withdrawal. Right. If I, if I, now, God, I would definitely do that. Would be, that would be the way I would do it. Like, if I was still on pills and I, I, I was ready to quit, you know, I would honestly do some boxing for a couple of, like maybe a week. Don't do it long because, yes, you can right. get addicted to some boxing. Of course. A week, two max. I would do some boxing, very little amount, just to keep me from withdrawing. Or complete and, insanity, yeah. Yeah, and I would do that for a couple weeks. And then, you know, I would, and of course you're at it. You're going to want to get high again. Mm-hmm. So whenever I was off of it, if I ever felt like, oh, I want to get high again, I would just do a suboxone strip. Right. You know, to to fulfill that need and not to go back on pills. Right, right. But then, you know, I'm I'm not saying that's what you continue doing. I'm saying in the beginning, you right, know. And right. then once you break away from all the friends and all that stuff and then you're on a good path and you've been clean for a while, then suboxone is not even out there because you can't keep oh i can i can get high this one time because you know you're not going to want to just get high that one time so then i would just you know after maybe a month of you know here and there completely break it away gotcha that's how i would personally do it nowadays right so that would be what you would do now now um real quick i just guys this is why i went cold turkey okay um, in case you're wondering, you know, Derek went cold turkey. I'm not against other stuff. I'm just telling you what I knew was the best thing for me because everything he's saying and everything y'all say, y'all are so supportive of what I'm doing and I'm thankful. I really am. I really appreciate all the support, the love, the positive, even the negative comments and some of the criticisms and stuff like you guys help keep me in check. But I will say I went cold turkey to avoid every damn bit of that. And I knew once I accomplished going the other side, my biggest goal was how do I keep from ever returning to using again or needing it? Like he said, I'll take a Suboxone if I ever want it again. Well, how do I get my brain rewired where I don't even think about wanting it anymore? And that was my goal, and that's what this channel's about. And that's really my whole mission in making this new website is going to be about that. Because you can get to a place where you don't need or feel the empty void that's inside. That black hole that you always want to fill, that's always feeling like you're missing something, that can be filled without using chemicals. But that's a whole nother topic. Now, appreciate you coming on, bro. And yeah. um, any last words you want to share with the audience? Um, just anything that everybody has their own way of getting off of pills everybody's got their home some people go to you know na some people you know do talk shows some people go to methadone i mean everybody has their own ways you just got to find that what you just got to find the path to get you clean and to keep you clean because being on pills and you know trying to live that life Nobody can live that life forever. As much as mm. we want to when we're on it, you can't live that life forever. You're either going to go to jail, you're going to OD, you're just, I mean, you can't live like that for the rest of your life. So, um, appreciate you having me on you know here, you, man. Love you. Know you know I love you, bro.
and Look, appreciate my y'all supporting his uh his youtube and his other things and um i'm definitely going to uh get on your website and be a subscriber on your website and i hope more if he gets a channel going i'll let you guys know be sure you know to show him some love because all y'all show me love this is my wife's brother so um you can catch me on facebook at nelly mountjoy and uh i appreciate you having me yeah man i love you bro all right, y'all. Till next time, check the description out. Get on Discord. Hit us up. You got any questions, anything you'd like to hear talked about or anything that comes up, dude, hit me up on the community chat on my on my channel or write it down in the comments. Like, share, subscribe. Later, y'all.